Hi everyone, this is Anna and I'm so glad you could find time to join me today on this channel. Um, if you're a subscriber, thank you. If you have not yet subscribed, I would urge you to uh, subscribe and hit the notification tab so that you can know when, you know, when new videos go out. And so you may be watching me for the first time and you're wondering who's Anna and what is she all about? So basically, um, I put out content that touches, you know, a so many topics um from from being a mom uh being a career woman being just a woman that believes in being the best version of yourself whether you're at home whether you're at work whether you're in the community whether you're serving in in church in the political space just to bring out your a-level game um, into everything that you do so today i just want to talk about a topic um of um success basically just wanting to share my own experience of or things that i've used in the in the past and i've just sort of put it out as um the five tips the five top tips of being successful of of having success in anything that you do so the first question someone may be wondering is how do you measure success and what is success anyway so i'm not thinking about you know like grand success where you you're building a multi multi-storied house or you're having the poshest car that you can drive i'm just basically talking about success both in small measures and big measures and success to me is basically you know you sought out to do something and you've been successful or you've been you've been able to do that thing and do it well okay so um what are my first tips or some of the tips that I've used or some tips that I would like to share with us to you today or basically to share with you today about what you could do to achieve that success. So my biggest tip is um, believe in yourself. OK, you have to believe in yourself, like believe that you can do what you've set out to do. OK, believe in your abilities, what you're able to do. And you will not be able to believe in yourself if you did not know what you carried within, if you did not know the treasure that you carry within, the virtues, the the skills that you you have, what the things that only you can be able to do or only you have found that amongst your peers or amongst your work colleagues, you're probably the one that does them best, okay? So believe in yourself and use your attributes or your skills or things that you've done in the past that, that have proved to be successful. Use those same things or realize those same things and use them even as you set forth to do something, okay? So it's very, very important. A lot of people may not believe in you, a lot of people may think, oh, you're probably just going to be to be like those that have come through. And probably that's true. But it is only you that knows the measure or, or the strength that you carry or the abilities that you've got to be able to go forth and achieve that success that you really so desire. OK. All right. The next um, big thing or um, tip that I would like to share with us about being successful is you need to have a dream, you know, you need to have a dream or you need to set goals or things that you want to do to be able to to reach that place that you want to reach. OK, like let's say, for example, you want to be, you know, in the next few years, I want to be able to buy a home. That's a good example to use. OK, so the dream is or the desire is that you want to go out there and buy a home. So what sort of home are you thinking about? And the goals that you put forward for yourself is by this time, I'll be able to do one, two, three, four. So how do you go about that so, so that you are successful in your endeavors? So the first, obviously, the most important thing is when you're setting out your dreams and your goals, they need to be realistic. OK, you need to set out realistic goals and say, look, this is a time frame that I'm thinking about, or this is the amount of money that I'm willing to spend, or you want to say, um, this is how I'm going to strategize. This is what I will do for me to come from point A to point B. This is the steps that I'm going to carry in between to be able to reach that goal. Okay. And chunk them into smaller chunks or divide them into smaller chunks to be able to say, by this time, I'll have done this. By this time, I'll have done this. And by this time, I'll have done this. Okay. The number three point is basically avoid distracting practices. 
you know we all have our distracting practices my biggest distracting practices i quickly learned was procrastination i don't know what your biggest you know distracting practice is whether it's listening to the naysayers there are a lot of people that once somebody tells them oh i don't think you can do this i've tried it before and i've failed and for me when somebody says i've tried it before and i've failed that's the time that i get the motivation to go forth Okay, when people tell me, oh, I applied for a job, nobody ever gets that job in that company. That's the time that I get all the zeal and say, look, I probably is the thing for everybody. But then I'm not going to listen to that. I'm going to try in my own way and see how I'm going to go about it. Okay, so identify that which is a distracting practice for you. I don't know whether, you know, that practice for you is basically, you know, leaving things for the last minute like myself, which is procrastination, or is your practice one in which you, you, you think or you look around and you say, oh, and belittling yourself and saying, look, I won't be able to do it. So identify, we all have a practice one or two or an attribute one or two that, you know, deep down you can have a personal meeting with yourself and say, this is the practice that I need to work on. Or, you know, like some, some other strategists would say, you probably need to sort, you know, sort yourself and realize what are your weaknesses. And so you'll be able to work on your weaknesses and expound on your opportunities to be able to reach um, your successful goal. Obviously, the other important tip is you need to manage your resources. Resources come in various, you know, manners. There's a resource of time. There is a resource of finances. There's a resource, you know, of relationships or the networking that you've done. So for you to be successful, you need to identify what's the biggest resource that I have and how am I going to, you know, maximize on that resource to be able to reach that which I want to, uh, which I want to be able to reach. Okay. So the biggest resource for me is, has been people, you know, you know, I am a believer that people will be a stepping stone for me. And, and, and even since I migrated to Australia, I've always used this, you know, like whenever I move on from one job to another, I try to leave, you know, you know, to try and, you know, leave relations, make relationships because you never know who's going to come in handy. You never know who's going to lift you up, you know, when you need that lifting hand. And obviously also identifying your other resources like finances. I mean, if you want to start a business, you know, you need to be able to know how much money will I need to run this business. And how I look at it is you need to have enough money to set you off for a couple of months in because we have started a business before and, and the first few months are horrible. They're difficult months. So you need to be able to have enough resource to say, for me to be successful, I need to think about one, two, three, and four. Okay. And lastly, the biggest other tip, the fifth tip that I would share with us about trying to, you know, reach your success or be successful is you need to have a support system. Okay. For me, a support system is quite key. You need to know who is in your inner circle, who is in your outer circle, and who is not in your circle, okay? Because the people that are within your circle are either the people that are going to build you up or they're the people that are going to make you go down. So realizing who is in your inner circle, do you share the same values? Are they there to push you or are they there to pull you down, okay? Are they going to be there when you need somebody to encourage you are they going to be your accountability partners to tell you, look, the way that you're going, I don't think is the right way. Are they the people that are going to stick out their heads for you out when you're in trouble? So it's quite important to identify in your journey early enough that these are the people that are, I'm going to count on. And these are the people or these are the resources or the people resources that I'm going to use to ensure that I reach my success. So basically, whatever thing that you're aiming to do, whatever, you know, like um, you can be successful, you know, and however you measure your element of success, whether small or big, you need to have discipline within yourself and you need to be able to realize that there are some, some, some things that you have to do to try and make sure that you achieve this success. So um, um, 
you know, share this content, share, you never know who may be requiring to be encouraged that they, they are on a journey and they, they are wondering, oh, am I going to be successful? Or oh, just keep doing that. Keep doing whatever it is um, that is going to be in line with your dreams, that is going to be in line with your goals, and that is going to ensure that you're successful at the end of the day. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I'm really, really grateful that you could be here. Kindly subscribe, share, leave a comment, add, you know, add a, a comment on what are the tips you've used in the past to ensure that you achieve your success. God bless you. Thank you.